So Michelle Fiery says, do high value men want women to chase them? All men want women to chase them, right? Just like women want men to chase them. However, it's... So, so the important part is that there's, there's a balance, right? There's, it's a, a lot of times when you talk about like chasing or pursuing or investing or whatever, people start jumping to one end of the spectrum over, or the other. And really there's, there's a middle ground. If, if he's doing all the pursuing the li- and he's just doing everything, the likelihood is that you're not going to be attracted to him. And If you're not doing any kind of response or, you know, reaching out to him at all, there's a really high probability chance that he thinks that you're not even really that interested in him and that he's going to end up going somewhere else and talking to someone else. And so you want to have a middle ground where it's, I I have the analogy of like hitting, hitting a, a tennis, it's like a tennis match, right? You're, you're hitting the ball back and forth to each other. And you're both doing it, right? He's not just hitting the, the ball against the wall and you're standing there and you're not hitting the ball against the wall and just standing there and he's just standing there. there there's a back and forth that goes on and, and people want to be valued. They want to be pursued. They want to be cherished. We all do. It's, it's, a tr- it's In some regards, it's attractive to all of us. And in some regards, if you're doing it too much, it becomes... It becomes really unattractive because somebody that really values themselves wants a relationship where there's a mutual back and forth going on and it's not all just one person. And and with that said, usually the beginning of a relationship, usually the first few dates, first few weeks of a relationship, men tend to be the person that pursues the most during those times. And then after a while, once there's a connection built, women tend to start reaching out and men start kind of leaning back a little bit more, but you don't want to be chasing him or reaching out or pursuing him so much that he completely leans back and you're doing all of it, which is what ends up happening a lot of times in our community. You want it to be a back and forth. You want him to be continually investing in you, regardless of whether he's a high value man or or not. And you want to, you know, and, and there's nothing wrong with you reaching out if you need connection, if you're coming from a space of being in your feminine energy and you're coming from a space of confidence and security. And if you're coming from a space of neediness, then it can really be painful or it, it can be, it, it can end up pushing him away or making him feel bad. And so I'm not sure if I have completely answered that question for you, 